welcome back. Of course, we've been chatting football this morning, in particular development within the game as the Metropolitan <coughs> Cup is about to kick off with 32 of the best under-19 sides in the country. And of course, a little international pedigree in the form of Swansea City. And we are very privileged to have um, Eric, Andrew and Mia join us this morning from the Swansea City team. Now, we, we've been chatting about development here in South Africa and what you guys have been doing here in a coaching sense. To give us a taste of what it's like on the other side of the ocean, how competitive is it within Swansea City football structures? How hard do the youngsters have to work to make it, of course, to what we now know is very much top flight football? In incredibly hard. I mean, the chances of them actually making it into the first team is, is very small. I mean, we're lucky at Swansea in the past sort of three or four years. We've had a couple of players that have gone on to play in the Premier League, um, but they're sort of few and far between. So the boys know that every day they're fighting for a place and fighting for their futures and that sort of thing. So incredibly competitive, incredibly. Andrew, we know that the most pressure on any player, on any team, is of course on the goalkeeper. What do you try to instill in young players, especially having just a brief opportunity out here to work with local teams? What is it that drives you? What do you want to get across to these young players? As, as somebody who works in defence, has, has to obviously manage, yes, they want a long-term career, but they've got to get the job done right now. How do you go about your coaching duties? Yeah, I think, um, especially with the goalkeepers, a lot of it is, is the mentality. Um, you know, a lot, a lot of the time, the goalkeeper's in that, that standalone position, um, and, and it's difficult sometimes for the for the younger goalkeepers, for instance, if they can see goals. A lot of the time, that they, they feel that you know it, it might be might be their fault. So you know, at Swansea, we, we try to create an environment where if they do make, make a mistake younger down. You know, it's uh, you know we're fine with that as long as they learn learn from the mistakes, and you know, hopefully that will um, give them the confidence then to go out and play with no fear. Um, and, and, you know, that, that for us helps their development leading into towards the Premier League. You know, we talk about the Premier League and playing with no fear, but the, it is a massive ladder that one has to climb to get there. So many South African kids dream about playing in English football and playing top-flight football. What do you say to those youngsters, Mia, those young ladies out there looking to, to take their game to the next level, to take it to the end degree if they can? What is, what is your advice? I think they have to enjoy it to start with. If they're not, if, if they don't love the game, it's just going to be hard for them to get there. Um, but uh, obviously, work hard at, at the things that they need to work on, like work like their negatives, but then also like work on their positives as well. You know, um, and yeah, try and take on as much information from good coaches as, as they can. Um, and of course, they have this opportunity. We've got a great meeting of minds happening with coaches from all across the country, all across the world happening now. What can we expect? From your under-19s, what brand of football will we be, be seeing out in the pitch? I think we've got probably one of the most distinctive styles in the Premier League. I mean, we play very patient, possession-based football, so it's lots of passes. We like to control the ball and control the game. And I think from what we've heard, it's possibly a little bit different to the way the teams yeah. play here. So I think we're probably expecting a more physical, direct approach from those sort of sides. So it'll be very interesting to see how they marry up and who comes out on top, I think. Oh, well, guys, thank you so much for, for bringing that brand of football out here. Um, we desperately do need that intellectual property as much as we need the inspiration of, of seeing brilliant young players um, you know, applying their trade out here. So all the best of luck to you and the senior players thank when you, you see them much. again. You've got a, a hotbed of support out here in South Africa. You are welcome back anytime. Thank you. Anytime. Thank you very much. Andrew, Eric and Mia joining us from Swansea City. Um, what an awesome tournament to get um, the very latest on where football is here in the country. Metropolitan Cup. Go and check out some of the best under-19 sides in the country. Right now, though, time to catch up on the news.